All right, what's up, everybody? Trader Park Dipper again with another video of South Park Nintendo 64 emulator on my PC. We're going to be doing episode one, stage three, right where we left off. So, Operation Turkey Butt Search and Destroy. Clear out the turkey lair. Eliminate the turkey leader. Kick turkey butt. Let's kick some turkey ass. Okay. So, we got the plunger gun. So, I've been, uh, there's going to be a cutscene right here real quick. Children, children, you need to focus on the problem at hand. I just found out those turkeys are nesting in a cave complex formed by the volcano when it erupted. If you children don't take care of those turkeys, that could be the end of us all. Are you up for it? <laughs> all right. Well, first thing I'm going to get off my chest is uh, this video is brought to you by Grizzly Long Cut Straight Premium Straight. So I'm chewing on right now. Now. I did a little bit of research there's five episodes in this game and uh, all of them have different enemies they so we get to the next uh, episode it will not be turkeys it'll be something else but you will find that out on your own when I start playing that so there's four episodes in this one so it won't take that long so, another thing, let's research him. Trey Parker, one of the co founders of the South Park um, franchise, and one of the developers. He's actually the voice of Stan, Stan Marsh, uh, Randy Marsh, and I do believe Cartman. He, by what I read, anyway, on the internet, however. Uh, true this may be or may not be he did not like this game he said it was boring but it, it just completely shocked me that a developer would say that about their own game but I mean if you're gonna be honest that's the way to go um, I can see his point about it being boring but at the same time it's if it gets you cash it'll buff but uh, let me kill these real quick before I get on to the next topic. Um, the next thing I'm going to move on to, this is not the only South Park game for the Nintendo 64. There is South Park's, uh, Chef Shack of Love, and it's pretty much just a game where it's a, a trivia game show and uh, chefs running things and he is uh, the uh, game show host and uh, he asks how many players are that you have playing with you and it's can be up to four it'll be you Stan, Kyle and Kenny Cartman shouldn't really say you but uh it's actually trivia and that's the, the only way you're gonna play that is if you have a uh, into the 64 I do believe I don't think it works the same way on a uh, emulator because you obviously can't well I, I, you might be able to if your computer has four USB ports mine only has three but uh I don't know if it works the same way um another game is a uh, South Park rally and it's a pretty much a Mario Kart of South Park and the power-ups are South Park based and it's just like the banana stuff and the uh, turtle shells but it's from it's a South Park thing it's not the turtle shell um, let's look here uh, if you aren't interested in get it getting a uh, emulator or a um, trying to scrounge up these uh, game cartridges for a certain for Nintendo 64. I'm pretty sure PlayStation had one. But 
Once again, I'm not completely sure about that. Don't go off my word. Um, another thing. Oh, sorry about that. I'm trying to fix something on my desk right here. Um, South Park or the developers of South Park are making a game that they've been running it for a while. If you haven't seen it. They did an E3, they released that E3 and everything. It may not be for the new console, and we have a new weapon we're picking up, a sponge gun, sponge dart gun, and uh, that's how that works. Anyway, it's going to be South Park, the Stick of Truth. Well, pretty much the storyline is that I've known so far is you're a kid that just moved into South Park, and you're trying to get the guys right here to like you, which is Carmen, Kyle, Stan, and Kenny, and uh, you have to do a whole bunch of missions and stuff like that. I don't know if they're missions, quests, whatever you want to call them, but it may be coming out this month, but I'm not completely sure. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to be available for next-gen gaming uh, consoles or if it'll just be for the 360. Um, I'm getting completely blindsided here. Uh, it may just stick with the 360 because I it, that's just that's what's been the uh, talk so far. No one's really said anything so far about that uh, being a next gen console being available for it. Um, it could be a uh, it will be available for the 360. PlayStation 3 and the uh, PC. Um, let me think here. Like GTA 5, it will not be available for the um, next gen. They are. Uh, it's a. It's all marketing. They're trying to get people to stick with their. They have to make money off their old stuff, and I understand that. But it it just sucks. I still have my 360 just to play GTA 5 online, but uh, that's just how it works. Um, let me think of some other things to talk about. Um, I'm doing this video right after <laughs> I just posted my last episode on this. I uh, waited a couple hours, took a little break, and uh, it's like it's 5:30 in the morning now. Um, let's look here. Uh, I actually played till I didn't even take a break really. I played until the um, the uh, second um, the second. Let me try to think here. Second episode and the second stage, but my game didn't save and it didn't record. So, I had to start all over again. So, that's why I'm still up. I wanted to get this over with because I didn't want to do it again the next day. Because I'm going to be doing my Torok tomorrow. Before I, I'm going to my dad's place. As soon as possible. I don't know if I'll be able to go tomorrow because the roads may be icy because my dad lives in the back country and they don't pave the roads very well. Hardly ever. There's usually a couple racks before they pave the road. And my dad doesn't have go to internet at all. It's like the shittiest stuff ever. I can't even watch YouTube without a two second. Uh, Loading like after like I'll play the video and every two seconds it'll load and it'll take about three minutes just to load two seconds every time but uh, uh So there's that um I did another I, I was looking at something else too um Earlier in the uh or in the last video, I told you about how people, how they didn't like this game. 
and I kept on reading their comments because I or their yeah their comments because I I just couldn't understand why. But a lot of people don't like the iguana or acclaim uh, engines, which made Torok, Torok 2, and they just didn't like it. And I think they they may have made all of the Torok games because Torok they had they had one for 360 PlayStation, and the one for 360 was just called Torok. But it was a that was a completely different story and all that stuff. But uh, one for GameCube and PlayStation 2 had its own story too. But I mean, I don't know if Acclaim or Iguana, whichever you prefer to call it, made that or not. Um, but for some reason, people don't like it. I played growing up a lot of iguana games I don't know if they have a lot but I mean the ones I played I loved them so stuck with them there's nothing wrong with them the whole idea behind Torok is amazing a Native American uh, warrior that uh, has to fight dinosaurs that's just awesome in my book and I'm just getting murked at the moment Let's, let's, let's work something here. There we go. That's, that's something I need to work with. Uh, I don't... I don't remember in the last video. I don't think I did. I don't think I told you my backstory. Uh, it's not really my backstory. It's just where I'm from and... Uh, pretty much just where I'm from. Um, I live in West Virginia. Uh, Burnsville, West Virginia, and my dad lives in, uh, uh, let me see, I'm trying to focus on this, uh, he lives in Duck, West Virginia, which is, uh, not all of West Virginia is, uh, back road hillbilly, as odd as that sounds, I know everybody thinks that it's a, uh, hillbilly thing, not going to let you, uh, or lie to you, there are a lot of hillbilly redneck kind of things, and, uh, but it's not as bad as what everybody makes it out to be, these, uh, hold on, these keep popping out of nowhere, is not this, uh, uh, you, you already know, I don't even need to explain them, but, uh, so yeah, the trailer park dipper name came because my friends used to play eight ball pool on the computer during school and uh my friend had a back his name was backroads dipper and then the other one was backwoods and then so i just came up with the trailer park dipper because obviously you don't know this but i live in trailer park in burnsville i've lived here for three years four years but uh with my mom, my dad's always lived in Duck, but my mom and my dad are split up. They split up a long time ago. But anyway, I'm not even gonna keep on talking about this. This doesn't even matter. We're here to play some South Park. So, um. I'm going to tell you something about, talk to you just a little bit more about the South Park Studios thing. Um, another thing they have is a, when you uh, make an account with them, they give you, you get the option to make an avatar. And you can make your own avatar, and I'm pretty sure if you play the mini games, you unlock more shit for them to be dressed up like. And just stuff like that. I thought that was, it's all right. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's pretty cool to make your own South Park character. I think. Now, um, let's think here. What else do I need to talk to you guys about? Oh man. Hmm. No, I'm just going to talk to you about South Park some more. Um, favorite episode I think I've laughed at the most 
It was right when World of Warcraft came out. It, was, it wasn't really just came out. It was when everyone got into it, started playing it. I never got into it, started playing it. But I knew all about it because a couple of my friends tried to get me into it. And I was like, nah, I'm, I'll stick with the 360 and all that good jazz. But uh, they made all the guys played or from South Park played World of Warcraft and that's how it starts off the episode everybody's um, playing and um, let's look here I'm trying to pick up all these uh, all the guys are playing this and this other guy that's playing it they don't know who he is and uh, he just comes up and kills them now in the game you can't do that you can't just murder random people. You have to agree to a duel to, before you can fight each other. But this guy does it anyway because he's so high level, he can even kill the ad, admins of the game. And the people, uh, Blizzard, which is the company that developed the game, they, <laughs> no one there can stop this player from killing people so it becomes a world dilemma and the boys try to figure out how they can get high enough level to defeat this guy and they obviously can't go on any quests or anything and that's how you level up faster in the games to do quests but they find an alternate um, way to do to gain their level so they can be stronger characters definitely worth watching I'm telling you it is hilarious because everyone's heard of World of Warcraft by now and if you haven't you must be living under a rock hmm but it's, it's incredible what these guys do <sighs> I may just do my Torok video right after this one Sorry about that. Just trying to get this done completely as fast as I can. Uh, like I said, I I talked when the video fucked up earlier. I talked about so much stuff, but I can't remember half the shit I said. Okay, cutscene. Here's Big Mama. Now, I was talking to you earlier. I do believe that my I've never got my health. Or you, I told you how the minion turkeys don't really do anything to your health. Well, this one will. Now you can't just shoot it. You have to look around for a target. Where's that target? Right on his ass. And you see that shit where he scratches the ground? you get close enough he will hit you with the ground and just it'll take 10 damage alright so he's nothing nothing special I mean if you get close enough to him that's about all he can do so slam There has been more than 54 of those, I swear there had to be. But alright, I'll go on to the next one. And then after this next one, I'll stop. Because the ones I recorded, I just kept going because they didn't seem so long. Oh, I didn't even read that, I'm sorry about that. But pretty much all that says is get back home so you can watch the Terrence and Phillips show. Cartman has to have the best dialogue ever. So, five miles to South Park. And I, I think Kenny dies in every episode. 
but he always comes back. Obviously, if you watch the show, he's always he never dies for a complete thing except for a couple of episodes. But he always ends up coming back later on in the season. I think he goes out of a a uh, complete. He he's only out for like three episodes, and that's about it. See, right there's Kenny. Zombie Kenny. Tanks destroyed one. Alright, um, I'm going to finish off right here. Since there's only four levels here. So, uh, I'm probably just going to start on to the next one right now. But I'm just going to make a separate video. But uh, this is Trailer Park Dipper signing out. See you later.